Welcome to our Mosquito Anatomy tutorial, created by Dr. Kristen Healy and Matt Faust of the Louisiana State University. Today we are going to explore the anatomy of an adult mosquito. At any time, please feel free to pause the video to get a better look. An adult mosquito has three segments, the head, thorax, and abdomen. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at the structures of the head. This is a mosquito head. The mosquito head contains many of the organs and body parts that are responsible for taste, smell, and hearing. The adult mosquito eye is similar to other insects and that is made up of numerous units called facets. Each facet creates an image which is then sent back to the mosquito's brain. Directly behind the mosquito's eye is a region called the occiput. This region can either be bare or have different colored scales which can be used in the identification of some species. Next, we can move to the mosquito antenna. The mosquito antenna are long structures that project from in front of the mosquito head. Each antenna, two total, are made up of three parts, the scape, pedicel, and flagellum. The scape is usually very difficult to see and helps connect the antenna to the head. The pedicel is the donut shaped structure which receives information on sound and vibration. The flagellum is the long part of the antenna, and this section contains numerous sensory structures that helps the mosquitoes detect odors in their environment. The mosquito's proboscis is actually made up of many different structures and helps the mosquito suck up blood from hosts and nectars from flowers. The mosquito actually sucks up blood from a tightly fitted group of needle-like stylets. These stylets are called the fascicle, and are responsible for penetrating the skin to acquire a blood meal. When not feeding, this fascicle is protected by a sheath-like structure called the labium. Directly next to the proboscis are the palps, which function in receiving both mechanical and sensory stimuli. The palps are normally much shorter in length than the proboscis. In Anopheles mosquitoes, the palps are about the same length as the proboscis, which make these a very useful characteristic to identify this group. In our next tutorial, we'll discuss the structures of the thorax. This film was created by Kristen Healy and Matt Faust of the Louisiana State University Ag Center. Thank you.